Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to connect a distribution board. Do note that this is a distribution board in uh, my country, South Africa. This is how we do it. Um, please make sure of your regulations. We also speak here of uh, sizes in millimeters and not, uh, I think, AUG like they do overseas. The colors that I use, the red and the, and the black, and then the green, yellow, is also for South Africa. I know in some places the the black is alive where we use it as a neutral, so do note. This is the DIN rail mount breakers. We also get the Semite on a mini rail. Uh, this is the white breakers. The other one is the black ones. Uh, we use both in our country. It doesn't matter. These are actually cheaper, so I'm sure we're going to get more and more of these. This is a uh, personal preference, the way I'd like to do it. Um, also, the arrangement of the breakers is also my own personal preference. You can arrange it otherwise. But uh, for starters, the, the main switch, this is a double pole one. It switches off the live and the neutral. This is also uh, law in my country. You have to have a double pole main switch. And then I'd like to put the stuff in that's not, that I don't put on earth leakage first, like the stove, the geyser or the hot water cylinder, and the lights. They aren't, uh, by law, they can be on earth leakage or they cannot be on earth leakage depending on your circuits. With the stove, you do need a stove coupler if you do not put it on earth leakage. This is the stove coupler that we use, normally the three pin. Um, if it's not going to be on earth leakage, you'd have to have a stove coupler or plug that unplugs the stove. Otherwise, the stove has to be on earth leakage. The geyser has to have an isolator at the geyser and then the lights. Um, sometimes the fans has to be on earth leakage depending on if you have an isolator at the fan itself or not um, I usually have the isolator at the fan so I do not put lights on earth leakage all three of these do cause nuisance tripping so that's why I like to keep them off the earth leakage then I put the earth leakage and then my plug circuits the amount of light circuits and the amount of plug circuits all depends on your installation uh, for a smaller building with five, six lights, I usually put only one 10 amp breaker in there. Um, for well, plugs, I use a general rule, like they say in the in the rule book, of run about seven plug points on a circuit circuit breaker. I usually have less than that, also depending on the size. But I never have only one plug circuit breaker. That's also preference. I like to split the plugs. If there's a problem on the one circuit, then you still have some other plugs. That you can work with okay let me show you how to wire this so i like to start well from a beginning from one side and work my way to the end so let's start by putting in the mains now there's usually a live and neutral marked on these so you put your live on the one side and your neutral on the other side So in my case, the live is the red wire, the neutral is the black wire. Now from the bottom, you're going to put your live wire around to the three circuits that is not on earth leakage in my case. It's the stove, the geyser and the lights. And then as well as go to the earth leakage, the top of the earth leakage. So I can see a little in on here to mark this side as the neutral side, this side is the light side. And this one is actually the live on this side and neutral on this side. So yeah, um, what I like to use for bridge pieces on here is uh, a buzz bar. Uh, do note that you've got to get the buzz bar that's rated for the amps. Let's say of the main switch. If you've got a 63 amp main switch, you get a 63 amp uh, or bigger buzz bar. In this case, this one is rated 63 amp. My main switch at this stage is 32 amps, but uh, it's not going to be 32 amps if I put it in the house. Maybe a bit bigger, like around about 40 amps. So what I'll do is I'll saw it off on here and have three bridge pieces. I'm not going to do this now as I'm not going to wire this TV up permanently. So, uh, yeah, then let's get the red wire from here around to these three. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, take a live wire from this... Uh, this red side go around into these three and then including the earth leakage um, 
do note that the wire that you use has to be able to take this amps um, on a main circuit breaker. So if you're using a 60 amp breaker, I'll put in 16 mil um, house wire. If it's a 50 amp, you can put in 10 mil. If it's a 40 amp, you can put in 6 mil. But I always like to overshoot so that I have some spare. So this is a 16 mil wire that I'm using here for this bridge speech. So I know that it can handle all the amps that this uh, circuit can throw at it. Now, like I said, um, with these three, I'll just put in a buzz bar usually. It uh, looks a lot neater than uh, bringing bridges. But let me just show you what you can use if you don't have the buzz bar. Okay, what you can use if you don't have the buzz bar is just make bridge pieces like this. Uh, from the one side to this one, and then from that breaker to this one, and then from this breaker to that one there. So you put your mains live through the stove, the geyser, and the lights, and then again to the earth leakage side, the live. Um, you can use these bridges, like I said, they're not as neat as the buzz bars, but just make sure that they're able to handle the amps. Okay, so the next thing is going to be the red wire that I bridged there, there and there, and then the earth leakage as well. And then to come out of the bottom here, go around and to the two circuits that are on the earth leakage. You have to uh, decide prior which circuits are going to be in earth leakage, like I said previously, um, so that you can wire them through the earth leakage. If you get these and these mixed up, you'll have your earth leakage tripping. So make sure you know which two are going through the earth leakage prior to wiring and then wire them accordingly. So that's your main live wire done, coming from the main uh, cable, going through your main switch, out to your circuits that are not on earth leakage, and then onto the earth leakage itself. The bottom of the earth leakage comes out to the circuits that are on the earth leakage, and uh, yeah, that's a red wire. Let's do the black wire quickly. So the main, main uh, neutral comes in, into the main switch, and out of the main switch goes into the main, main uh, buzz bar. Now sometimes these 6 mil cables, they do struggle to get into these smaller buzz bars. Um, you cannot cut off some of these strands. You are altering the current carrying capacity of the wire. So if you are having trouble, rather replace these buzz bars with a bigger one. Um, if you've got the bigger cables for the 63 amp uh, breakers. But yeah, let's continue. From here on, uh, you want to go to the top of your earth leakage there to the neutral side of your earth leakage so the live is coming from this side into the live and then the neutral from here on from the buzz bar so from my mains buzz bar i go around to the neutral and the earth leakage and then from here on i go to my earth leakage neutral bar i would usually try and have these cables all run the same uh, same height and so on but I'm just using off-cut uh, wires, so this is just a quick demonstration. So if you're doing it yourself, try and have these all the same and have them look neat. When you open it, uh, a DV box, when it looks neat, it just looks better than when you've got a lot of wires, well, actually looking like this. So try and have them all the same height and, and looking neat. Okay, let me put in this other neutral wire. Okay, now I've put in this uh, neutral wire from the earth leakage to my neutral buzz bar. And that's about that for my uh, main circuits. Just a quick recap. Live and neutral coming into the main switch. From the main switch out, the neutral going to the, to the main neutral bar. The live going around to the uh, three circuit breakers that are not on earth leakage. And then to the earth leakage as well. And then the neutral coming from the main neutral bar around to the earth leakage out the other side and into the earth leakage neutral bar and the other side of the neutral or other side of the earth leakage the live wire goes around to the two circuits that are on the earth leakage now when wiring the uh, wires that are coming in the stove the geyser the lights and the two plug circuits you have to remember if they are on the earth leakage or if they are not on the earth leakage um, if they are not on the earth leakage the live wire goes here, your earth wire on the earth uh, bar, and then the uh, the neutral 
goes on the main neutral bar. So these three circuits that are not on earth leakage, the neutral will, will go on the, on the main neutral bar. These two circuits that are on earth leakage, the neutral wire from them would go on the earth leakage neutral bar. If you mix these up, you're going to have the earth leakage tripping. So do note that if you switch it on the earth leakage strip, do check your neutrals, which side you wire them on. If they are on the earth leakage, if they are not on the earth leakage. Let me just show you quickly how I will uh, wire one of these circuits. Okay, let me wire the uh, light circuit quickly. I've got one of these surfix wires, which has the red for the live, the black one for the uh, neutral, and then the bare one for the earth wire. So I quickly connect the earth wire first to one of these uh, earth bars. And then the red wire will go to the 10 amp lighting circuit. And then the black wire will go on my main neutral bar because these ones are not on the earth leakage. And that's the lighting circuit connected. Let me sh quickly show you one of the plug circuits. Okay guys, connecting the plug circuit um, is basically the same as the lighting circuit, but just the well, just the plugs goes to the earth leakage where the lighting circuit does not. So let's connect the plugs quickly. The earth on earth bar, the live on any one of these uh, plug circuit breakers. And then the neutral, instead of going on the main neutral bar, because it goes through the earth leakage, you have to put it on the earth leakage neutral bar. And that's it. The, uh, the other plug circuit will be just connected the same. The geyser will be on this neutral bar and the, and the stove will also be on this neutral bar. The earth, when you put your main cable in, you'll have an earth as well. That needs to come to the earth bar. So just don't forget that. That's just one of the most important wires in the circuit that doesn't carry any, any voltage. And then with regards to the sizes of the cables, when you got a 32 amp breaker for the stove like this, you need to put in a 4 millimeter wire. This one is a 20 amp for the geyser, that's a 2.5 millimeter wire. The 10 amp for the lights is a 1.5 millimeter wire. Some people use the 1 millimeter, but I prefer the 1.5. Um, and then the 20 and the 20 for the plugs, also the 2.5 wire. You can use a 4 millimeter wire on a 20 amp circuit breaker, that's fine, but you cannot use a 1.5 millimeter, a smaller gauge cable wire on a on a 20 amp let's say of 1.5 millimeter because the 1.5 millimeter wire will start burning at let's say 15 amps where the circuit breaker will only trip at 20 so do not put a bigger circuit breaker in your and uh, in than your wire can handle you do get the diagrams for the for the wiring the millimeter like i say we use the millimeter sizing uh, I know some countries use a different size sizing system. So do check your diagrams before you start wiring your DV. Okay, guys. Thank you.